Welcome, everybody, to another Mari Social Sit Down, all right? Yeah. Now, <laughs> joining me today is a man named Ari Nagel. And Ari is also known by many people as the Sperminator. Oh. You see, 10 years ago, Ari, who, by the way, is a college professor, oh. and, yeah, he is, answered a Craigslist ad looking for a sperm donor. And since then, Ari has made it his life's mission to travel around the world impregnating women who ask for his seed. Oh. To date, Ari Nagel has sired 29 children with 24 oh. women. And he has three babies on the way. We'll talk to seven of these mothers a little later, but first, here's Ari's story. Ari Nagel is a 42-year-old college professor who is also a self-proclaimed sperminator. Yep, I got 29 kids with 24 different women and three more on the way. My kids range in age from unborn to 14 years old. In fact, Ari says he's just getting started. If someone asks me for my semen, I will not turn them down. Ari will travel anywhere in the world to share his seed with women looking to get pregnant. Women have offered to pay for my flight to Israel, Taiwan, Vietnam, and almost every state in the U.S. Any race, any religion, gay or straight, I won't turn any woman away and Ari will produce and exchange his genetic sample just about anywhere. I've given my sperm to women in public restrooms, at casinos. I even gave it in a solo cup at a cookout. Ari claims his sperm is more powerful and effective than in vitro fertilization. I've had my sperm tested, and doctors told me that my sperm count is off the charts. In fact, my sperm has worked in cases where IVF has failed. But being a sperminator comes with consequences. Some of the women promised me that they would never sue me for child support, but they went back on their word. I'm currently paying child support for nine kids. That's more than half my paycheck. But there's more to parenting than just making babies. So what is going to happen when all of these children grow up? Hopefully, by the time I'm 70, I'll have hundreds of kids calling me grandpa. How did this all happen? All right, come on. Did you actually go on Craigslist? Uh, no, I, um... They posted an ad, and then I had initially responded to it. Obviously, at times, you, at times, you know, you go into an office and use cups and things don't like worry, that. Don't worry, I didn't use your office, Maury. Yeah, right, don't worry. Right. But other times, you do the real thing. Well, it's really always up to the mom. Sometimes they want to do it the old-fashioned way, and sometimes they want it in a cup. Sometimes we'd go to a fertility clinic and do it in a fertility clinic. Sometimes so, I've even mailed it. And so, in other right. words... It's not an act of love, it's an act of baby-making. Is that what it is? It's almost the same thing, really, when you're sleeping with a woman. I think the major difference maybe is when they're done... The, you know, they never said thank you, but and when I'm giving them the baby, they're actually thanking me. So I'm sleeping with them, and then after I'm finished, they say, oh, thank you. And that would be a nice thing. I think all women should do that. Actually, on occasion, uh, the partner of the woman is there in the room. It, yes, sometimes they want to feel like they're playing a role in helping conceive the child. According to you, and maybe others, you have what is called super sperm. Well, I have 29 kids, so I don't need uh, any uh, doctor to tell me you have super sperm. Do, do yes. you have any kids who actually live with you? I am a full-time parent to some of the children. Um, you are? Yes. Is it because... Uh, some I see every day, some I see once a week, some I see once a year. It's really up to the moms and what role they would like me to play. And yet, some of these women, who obviously, you know, you're, you're giving them your sperm, you don't exactly want to give them child care for the rest of your life. Uh, that's right. But well, you are. To well, some of them. Some of them went back on their word and filed for child support, even though that wasn't the original agreement. And you're giving child support. Well, you don't really have a choice. They right. take it out of your paycheck. Uh, the court does that. Yes. And by the way, you don't get paid for this. No, I never charged any of the women, ever. And it could be... Oh, I get paid in uh, hugs and kisses, and right. of course, a lot of love and a lot of joy. And but, but, but look. Uh, one woman gave me this watch. See, it has an S for sperminator on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have necklaces that have a little less okay. insignia. Now, with all these kids, right? 29 kids with 24 women and more on the way. Mm -hmm. how, how, how do you keep track? How do you keep track? Yeah, I've got three and I got a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
You know, I got yeah. a little spreadsheet here. A spreadsheet? And, yeah, <laughs> for my kids, their dates of birth, and right. yeah. and the truth is, is that my phone will alert me when there's a birthday coming up, but I know more or less their birthdays. Do you turn w women away? No, I'll never say no. Really? Well, if they ask me for help, you know. Do you go to birthday parties and stuff? Oh, I went to a birthday party this Saturday. I had four other three-year-olds at that party, plus a couple of other kids. Now, we want you to get a full view of Ari. We have examples oh. of the women who you've been with mm, mm -hmm. somehow. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. <laughs> and, 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 and we're going to meet them. So, ladies, come on out. Good to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Oh, boy. Hi, Ashley. Nice to see you. Tiffany, good to see you. Nicole, how are you? We have Liz and Lee. Uh, and we have... And Elijah. Uh, yes, right there. This is their child. Mm -hmm. This is Ari's child, I guess. He's three. This is Devin and Sean. Mm -hmm. and, and back here, we have... We have Ashley and Tiffany and Nicole. And Aria and Zoe. They're three, too. Now, have a seat. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, has he ever seen Elijah? Many times. Many times? Many times. He loves him. They both love each other. And you're cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Who was birthing the child here? Me. Where did you get his sperm? Oh, a cup. A cup. <laughs> <laughs> You're not worried that he has 28 other kids? More, not at all. Um, the 28 other kids, most of them came after we had our son. Um, we had him before he was the sperm eater. So we kind of, we're the OGs. But um, no, the 28 other kids are just perfect examples of the cute, happy, well adjusted children that he makes. Uh, you wanted to ask him something, didn't you? Ready for number two? No. Oh, yes. no. The kid really? can go in the green room right now. Let's make it happen. We'll wow. get my baby sister, right? <laughs> okay, Sean and Devin, nice to see you. Hi, Lori. And who was the birth mom here? Me. A and what's her name? Carieva. And how old is she? She'll be three months. Three on the months. 25th. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And have you seen her? Oh, of course. Oh, yes, I uh, in the hospital when the, they, she was born. And everything is cool, Sean, huh? Yes, everything is cool. It's just the way you imagined it? Yes. Oh, it's um, actually even better because Ari is very hands-on and he's always there for birthday party, <laughs> so... So, Ashley, yes. what's it like not having, you know, the sperminator around? He's around anytime we ask him to be around. Do you think he's doing a good job for women or not? Or, I mean, yeah, he's doing an excellent job. And well, do you, do you know? I, I just, I just figured it out. There are all these brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just. A lot of them. Do, it's a do, do, do any of you all get together? Do anybody? All the, the, all the all really? We're having oh, a party man. next week. A party. A Halloween party. A Halloween party. Oh my lord. <laughs> Tiffany. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. What, what's your little girl's name? This is Zoe. And how old is she? Zoe is three. That three. was the party so last she's, week. So she's one of the older ones, right? Yeah. I guess. These are all three. Yeah, huh? three years They're old. They're all three years old now. I have five three year olds. Five. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, six. And, and what? <laughs> I got six three year olds. And the oldest is 14? That's right. A boy or a girl? He's a boy. Do you ever see him? All the time. And now we have Nicole here, and Nicole is here for a reason, right, Nicole? Yeah. Because you and Ari have had uh, experiences before. Yes, we've been trying for um, three years. I actually got pregnant, but unfortunately lost the baby last year. And you're but here because? I'm here because I'm actually ovulating. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you, in your heart of hearts, ladies, be honest with me. Would you prefer somebody else? Never. Never. No. I want to pick Never. it up. I would use him over and over again. Now, well, Maury, are you interested? Maybe you could step up to the plate. No, you know? I'm not no. interested, no. no. I'm, a, I'm too old. Which, by the way, you and I got a lot of gray going, right? Mm. So 
How, how I got three in the oven, so things are still working in the so. plumbing department. <laughs> so, how old are you now? I'm 42. When are you going to retire? I'm certainly not going to be doing this when I'm 50. So, yeah, another two, three years. Okay. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, I kind of like this segment. I wasn't going to, but I, but I really did. <laughs> and I thank you. I thank you very that. much. Ladies, as long as you're smiling and happy, I'm happy. Welcome, everyone, to my official YouTube channel. The lie detector test has determined you are in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to get daily updates, watch full segments, and see original content. Until next time, America, see you on YouTube.